can. This is the Diaz Alder reaction. We are going to combine a boiling chip with one gram, which is four millimoles of one four diphenyl butadiene. We're also going to include half a gram of malic anhydride. And we are going to put this into a 50 milliliter round bottom flask with 10 milliliters of xylenes. And we are going to hook it up to a cooled reflux condenser. Combine everything down here on the bottom. And we are going to mix and condense for um, reflux for one hour. Um, the reaction block set at 250 degrees Celsius uh, to dissolve the solid as the reaction progresses. So here we go. Alright, so we're going to put the one gram of the one four butadiene in there. We are going to put the 0.5 grams of malic anhydride in. Lastly, we're going to put the 10 milliliters of xylenes in. Okay, we're all set, so we are going to cap to reflux for an hour. We are going to set to 250 degrees. And the magnetic stirrer in there, we're going to start stirring. And we are going to mark the time and reflux for an hour. We'll turn on liquid condenser. Running. And we'll go for one hour. After we are done with the reflux, we're going to transfer the round bottom flask into the ice bag and let it cool down so the solid can solidify and then we are going to vacuum filtrate to collect our solid. So we are going to take our round bottom flask off and place it in the ice bag <laughs> to solidify. And already you can see we've got a pretty good solid precipitating out. Okay, so now we're going to take the solid that precipitated out um, from vacuum filtration and we are going to suspend that in about 50 milliliters of hexanes liquid. And um, after we do that, um, we're going to refilter it again with new filter paper back through vacuum filtration. Right. And now we're going to suspend the suspended product in the hexane is going to be filtered through. <laughs> So, with our final product filtered out and weighed, it looks like we come to 0.37 grams in total. So, we've got our final product. We are going to obtain a melting point and um, calculate percent yield. All right, we're right around 200 degrees. Looks like the solid is beginning to melt. And it's melting. And it's completely melted at 212 degrees.